Do you want to make a VR game but don't know how to start one? Well, this is the perfect video for you. In this tutorial series we are going to make a simple game where we are going to use Synthi Studio's free polygon starter asset pack. It's available on the asset store, link in the description. In this series we will implement the basics such as movement, teleportation, snap and continuous turn and also interacting with objects and with UI. We will have a simple gun with shooting mechanism as well. For all of these we will use Unity's latest XR Interaction Toolkit. So, without further ado, let's get started. So let's create a new project. I'm going to use the newest LTS version of Unity, which is the 2022.3 version. I'm going to create it in URP and I'm going to name it my VR project. So once uh, Unity loaded, just go to Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry. And we need to install the XR plugin management. So just hit install. And we also need to install the XR interaction toolkit. So click install as well. It's also installed the new input system. So we need to restart the Unity editor. So let's just hit yes. Once the editor is sorted, we can close it and navigate to edit project settings, XR plugin management. And we need to install the open XR plugin. So it's installed, we see some issues. First go to OpenXR and we need to add interaction profiles. We can do that with uh, the plus button. And I'm going to add the Oculus Touch controllers, uh, the MetaQuest Pro and the Valve Index. So back to the project validation, we only see one issues left. So just click fix it. So once it's done, we need to set up a simple scene. To do that, we are going to use the Synthi Studios Polygon Starter Pack. The link is going to be in the description. It's a free to use package. So just add to my assets and, and import the assets. To do that, go to Window, Package Manager, uh, click My Assets and search for Polygon Starter, Polygon Starter Pack. And just hit Import and import the package. Yeah, we can close it now. So just go to its folder, prefabs, and just drag and drop anything. Uh, you can see it's using the built-in pipeline, so we have to upgrade its materials to the universal render pipeline. To do that, go to window, rendering, and render pipeline converter, and just take these and hit initialize converters. They will continue. So when it's done, you can see the materials it's going to upgrade. So just hit convert as assets. Yeah, and it's working now. Okay, we can delete this one now. I'm just going to need this view. And we are going to need to use this building floor 5x5. Five five five. So just drop it in. Uh, reset its transform and scale it a little on the Z and the Y axis. Okay. This one also has a simple sky dome, so just drop it in and also reset its transform. And we also have a cloud ring. Also reset just the positions. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. We cannot see them, so we just need to make the dome scale a little bigger. So try, so try five. Yeah, now we can see it. Next up, to make it organized, just create a empty game object, reset its transform, and call it environment. Yeah, and drag these into it. So next up, we need to make an XR rig. So to do that, in the hierarchy, just right-click, XR, XR origin. First off, we need to set the tracking origin mode. We want it to be tracked from the floor. So, so select the floor option. And when we open it up, we can see there's a main camera. So we have to delete our other main camera from the scene. There can be only one camera in the scene. So let's do that. And as you can see, there's a left hand and right hand controller attached to the XR origin. We want to set it up by ourselves. So just delete them. So to set this up, Right click on the camera offset, 
create empty, reset its transform it if it's needed, and rename it to and rename it to left hand controller. and duplicate it and rename this one to right hand controller type both of them and add an xr controller action based script to it so we could set this up one by one with the new input system but unity made our life much easier it's already created a sample one for us in the xr interaction toolkit so to import it go to window package manager change this back to unity registry and at the XR interaction toolkit you can find the samples the starter asset samples and import it once it's imported let's go back to the uh, left hand controller and at the, at the top right corner there's an icon to select the preset and for the left hand controller select the XRI default left hand controller and as you can see it's already set this up for us so go to the right hand controller and do the same. Okay, there's one last thing to do. Go to the XR origin and at the input action manager, we need to add an input action asset. To select the XRI default input action. Also, we forgot to reset the XR origins transform. So it's all the way there. So just do that. And now we can start the game and look around in, a, in the world. Yeah, it looks like it's working. We can look around, but we can't see any hands right now. So let's set that up from the Oculus integration package. So you don't have to do it. You can download it in the link is in the description. So let's import it. Go back to assets and import the VR hands package and click import. So to use it, just go go to the folder and select the left hand controller and to the model prefab, just drag the left hand prefab. Do the same for the right hand controller, just drag the right hand prefab to the model prefab. And that's it. Just start the game and, and let's see what happens. Yeah, as you can see, I can see my hands and move it, but there's no animation yet. So let's set it up in the next video. That's it for this video. In the next one, we are going to animate our hands based on our input. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't want to miss my future videos, then hit the subscribe as well. See you in the next one.